Now, I don't know about you, but there's one thing in my home that I can't live without. Okay, two things if you count the blow dryer. But the main thing is my coffee machine. It helps wake me up and start my day. Of course, these machines are all tricked out these days with grinders and steamers and little coffee pods. But all of these newfangled machines have one daddy, and the world called him Mr. People have enjoyed the ritual of sipping morning coffee for centuries. But preparing coffee in the early days didn't have the same appeal. I went to the Henry Ford Museum of American Innovation in Detroit to learn about the drip that made coffee making easier. By that, I mean the automatic drip, and its name was Mr. Coffee. Curator of Domestic Life, Jeannie Miller, and I met at Lammy's Diner to talk coffee. Oh boy, this better not be decaf. <laughs> Invented in Ohio by Vincent Moroda and Samuel Glazer, Mr. Coffee helped American society move beyond the multi-step dripolator and percolator. For the first time, the coffee grounds, the water, and the heating mechanism were all contained in a single device. How did people make coffee before there were automatic coffee makers? Well, a lot of people would uh, grind their beans at home and roast them at home. And then you'd boil them. It would sometimes get burnt also, right? Oh, absolutely. Mr. Coffee debuted in 1972. And by 1975, six million had been sold. I like to say that Mr. Coffee saved Americans from bad coffee and kept women from being blamed for it. OK, because right, because 1972, this is in the middle of the women's movement. Yes right in the decade when that really gets going. And before this, a lot of women were homemakers. While change may have been brewing in the home and in American society, when it came to product endorsements, it was still a man's world. This is still a time period when men had a lot of authority, or at least seemingly, over the value and quality of products. So if a man is telling you something is good, it must be. And that man in this case was? Ultimately, the dynamic duo of Mr. Coffee and Joe DiMaggio. The beloved New York Yankee baseball player was the pitch man for Mr. Coffee for nearly 15 years. Joe DiMaggio, iconic American hero. Absolutely. 56 games in a row. My father always said that that was the greatest athletic feat ever. 56 consecutive games getting ahead. Joe DiMaggio developed this reputation for being reliable and dependable. So when he's pitching a product, you know that product must also be reliable well, and he wasn't dependable. pitching, he was hitting. <laughs> True. Just for anyone keeping score at home. This is Mr. Coffee, Precision Coffee Brewing System. Seeing someone like Joe DiMaggio making coffee at home told men that it was OK and it wasn't an affront to their masculinity. Looking at the machine itself in the box, it's, it's really striking how simple the directions are. That was why it was so popular, because like a lot of innovations, it put two things together in a different way. From a time when a baseball icon was the face of Mr. Coffee to a coffee culture that lets you personalize your drink. In a selfie society, that's a virtual home run.